and he's also going to talk to you for a while. Um, uh, he, after him, we have Venerable Chandrananda who will talk to you for a few minutes before we do Buddha Puja again. Uh, then it's lunch time. Okay? So I will um, talk to you again later, but hand over the microphone to Venerable Sujan. He's also from Nepal, okay? uh, but he came from Wolverhampton very far, about 200 miles, 300 miles. Okay? Don't ask him whether he can fly, okay? because he's a meditation master. Okay? So he's going to talk to you again about meditation. As I said again, the reason is, what's the theme today? Enlightenment, very good. We try to be very happy every time. Okay, so we're going to talk about that again and again. So can you please you can listen to them, Pante, and then we will uh, go on from there. Thank you. Okay, good morning. I think everyone sleeps. I can't hear any reply. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very tired today. Aren't you? Aren't you? So, you have listened so many things today. Do you want to listen to me? Do you want to listen to me? Oh, that makes me cheer. Okay? But what happened is, on the way, I was thinking, what shall I tell you? And on the way, on the train, okay, on the train, I was coming. How does it sound, the train? Yeah? And suddenly it stopped. And what happened? And what happened? All my thoughts gone. Disappeared. So I don't know what I'm going to tell you today. Can you help me? What shall I tell you? No? So, last night I talked with Tanan and the Sadhu. But what shall I tell today? And Tanan and the Sadhu, he replied, Can you imagine what he said? Can you imagine? I, told, I asked him, Tanan and the Sadhu, what shall I tell tomorrow? Can you imagine what he said? He said, just tell. He says, just tell. So I'm just telling now. Okay? I'm just telling. Just listen to me. Would you? Okay, so I think now I'm going to tell you a story. Are you ready to listen to the story? Have you ever seen the water buffalo? No. Some say yes, some say no. It doesn't matter. Okay? So just listen to me. The water buffalo, a mother water buffalo, and boy buffalo. Water buffalo. So I think I would better call him a bug. Yeah? Mr. Bug. Okay? So water buffalo, mother water buffalo, went along with Mr. Bob to eat, uh, to eat the grass in a near forest. And what happened, Mother Buffalo said, Bob, don't go far away from me, okay? There is a jungle, there is a tiger. Be careful with the tiger. Yeah? And then, Water Buffalo, uh, the, the Bob, Mr. Bob said, Okay, ma'am, no problem, no worry. I will be just around here. And he jumped. You know how to jump. And normally we do jump from for so fast to so fast. Yeah? So same like us. Mr. Park jump. Jumping here and there. La la la. Going around. Eating. Huh? And suddenly he smells. He smells the tiger. Tiger was just around, hiding to get Mr. Bob. Okay? And he smells the tiger, and he shouted, Mom, 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 help me, help me, there is a tiger coming. And Mom, she was stuck in the mud. She couldn't 
one and to stay next to you is about. And what his mom did, that he also, she also smells the tiger is coming. And the tiger, yeah? The tiger is coming to get the Mr. Bob. Who is the Mr. Bob? Yeah. And his mom said, Bob, you just ate tiger for your breakfast. I'm not going to give you another tiger for your lunch. Yeah? And Tiger said, hmm, what kind of this Mr. Bob is? What kind of this water buffalo is? He ate Tiger for his breakfast. I'm not going to go near to him. I don't want to be his lunch. Yeah? And the Tiger ran away. So this story tells us, yeah, tells you what was the problem. Hmm? If Mr. Bob listened what his mother said, will he be in near to death or got killed by the tiger? Will he? No. So what was the problem? He didn't listen his mom in our ears. That's the moral of the story. Yeah. We have to listen to mom. In our home, mom will ask you, have you brushed your teeth? And you will say, yes, mom, but you haven't. <laughs> yeah? You say, yes, mom, and you are smiling behind your mom. Maybe I, I lied to my mom. <laughs> yeah? You are smiling behind. And after a few days of lying that, what will happen? You will get to age. And say, Mom, I'm having a toothache. I don't want to go to school today because I'm having a toothache. Shall we go to see the doctor? Yeah? What was the problem? Yeah, problem is toothache. And do we know the cause of that problem? Yes? Yes. Yes. Cause was first we lie and we didn't brush. Yeah? And so that is the cause. So that's why got two egg and got to go to see the doctor. And do you see the uh, how can we solve that? When mom asks you, have you brushed your teeth? What's the answer? If you haven't, you should say no. If you have, you should say yes. Okay? And then that's the way how we solve the problem. Yeah? And that problem is just because we are happy to lie. Yeah? And suppose in our school, okay, you go back home, you have finished your meal, dinner, and then your mom or dad will ask you, Honey, have you done your homework? And you will say, no, not yet. I will do it now. And you will go and do it. So you're doing your homework. Gosh, it is so hard. Why did you give me this homework? I don't want to do it. Yeah? So if you don't do homework, what will happen? Tomorrow morning we'll get out. Yeah? I don't have to do your homework because Yeah, and not only that, when you wake up and you will say, Mommy, I'm having a headache. I don't want to go to school. Yeah? And you go to school? No. Oh, yes. No, oh, yes. Yes, mom will say, No, you have to go to school. And you will go to school. Ah, I don't want to go at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And you will be punished one more time in a school. Yeah? So what, where is the cause? Where is the cause? Yes? Yes, you didn't do your homework. Why we didn't do your homework? 
Yes? Because it was too hard. That's brilliant. And why it is too hard? Yeah, that is too hard. It may be because while you are in a classroom, teacher is teaching you and you're thinking, oh, I want to go to home. I will have this meal. I will play this way. I will play this DS. Yeah? Or maybe thinking about, oh, I want to go out and play football. I want to play cricket. So where is your mindful? You weren't in the class. So you lose you're mindful. You are not aware what teacher is telling you. So that's why that homework becomes so hard. And to solve that problem, what we have to do now? When teachers are teaching you, you've got to listen. That's brilliant. And when we are listening, well, how we are listening? While we are listening, it means we are aware of in that classroom. So while we are in a classroom, that's what we call the mindfulness. Yeah? So mindfulness is like being at that present time. Yeah? In that present time. And to do a mindful, first of all, you have to observe yourself. As Sumanasadhu was telling you, to observe yourself. Yeah? To know yourself. How do you know yourself? Hmm? How do you know yourself? Do you see your breath? Yeah? Do you see your breath? No? Anybody sees your breath? No? No, it means very tired. I am very tired. I don't know what Sadhu is talking. I want a break. Yeah? <laughs> I want a break. Like that. But the thing is, so can you raise your hand? Everyone can raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Okay? Now left hand. Now right hand. Right hand. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> left hand. Left hand. Oh, that's good. Touch your head. Nose. Ear. Nose, <laughs> ear, nose, mouth, head, head, <laughs> okay, head, nose, ear, mouth, nose, head, mouth, ear, mouth, that's pretty good. You're doing good, yeah? One more go. Head. Nose. Ear. Mouth. Ear. Head. Nose. Ear. Head. Nose. Mouth. Head. <laughs> you lost. You lost. It means you haven't got your mindful, okay? Listen carefully what I am saying, okay? Only then you will be able to touch as I am saying, okay? One more go. Right hand. Oh, somebody forgot. Right hand. <laughs> okay. Raise your right hand again. <laughs> Left hand. Right hand. Right hand. <laughs> That's good. You're listening now. That's good. Touch your head. Just one hand. Your right hand. And then touch your head. Nose. Ear. Mouth. Nose. Head. Ear. Nose. <laughs> you stop. Okay. So that means now. Pretty good. Uh, it's really, really good. You remember how to listen. And you are acting as you are listening. So that's a brilliant. 
same thing when we are in school. One teacher is telling you, we have to follow that. Only then we will be able to solve the problem. It won't be hard. When we are mindful, when we listen attentively, then that time we will be able to know what is the problem. Right? I think this is good enough for today. Yeah? And I believe whenever you are feeling like, no, I don't want to listen, you can touch your head, you can touch your nose, you can touch your ear, and you can touch your mouth, and still you're sleepy, bend your ears like this, wake up. I've got to listen. Wake me up. Yeah? And only that, then we will be clever. As the Buddha, he was so good. Although he was a very child, even that child time, he meditated. He was so calm. He was observing his breathing in and out. Yeah? Breathing in, he was observing. Breathing out, he was observing. And whatever teachers are telling him, he was listening carefully. And he was following what teachers were telling. Okay? So, will you do it? Will you do it? Will we listen what mother or father said to us? Or do you want to be got killed by the tiger? No? Oh, I thought you want to be killed. Or do you want to have a tiger for breakfast? Oh, then you've got to be very brave. You've got to be very brave and you've got to be very awakened all the time. Okay? You've got to be awakened all the time. You're aware all the time. When you are aware all the time, you can eat a tiger too. Okay? So when you've got a tiger, don't forget to call me, okay? I want to have a share too. Right? Right, okay. Then I think this is good enough for today. Thank you for listening and wish you all the best for today. Thank you. Bye-bye. One second, one second. That wasn't on my side.